Welcome, Collective. I'm back with another message. All right, so this is going to be a collective read. So it can be for any sign, any energy. Um, if this message, if this message resonates with you guys, be sure to hit the like button as well as the share. And don't hesitate to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss out on future videos. All right, so let's get a message. Uh, I have a channel message. I feel like some of you could be dealing with someone or have someone in your circle who you um, may think is a friend, but they're actually a, a enemy. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying to watch your circle. Pay attention to you have around who you have around you, especially if you're in a season where you are coming up. Um, yeah, see, somebody's trying to hold you back, okay? Four of Pentacles. This person could be trying to hold you back, okay? Because they see um, the progress that you are making and you're moving forward. Everything just flows nice and easily for you. This person is trying to hold you back. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit card. You may have isolated yourself, um, may have isolated yourself recently from this person, um, but and if you just feel the need to isolate yourself from this person, this could be the reason why. Okay, this person could be a Virgo. This person could feel like you brag, like you're bragging. They could be trying to stop you from, um, they're trying to block you. They're trying to hinder you. They're trying to block your blessings from coming in. Um, because we got a Knight of Cups. This is offerings. Things come in out of the blue. Um, good news. It's like they're trying to block this energy. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person is trying to hold you back. I feel it like this person is trying to hold you back. This person is manipulative. They're sneaky. We got the seven of swords. This person is sneaky. Like, you got to watch this person. This person is a snake. You got to watch this person because I feel like you're coming up with all these creative ideas with this ace of wands energy. You got all this creative energy. Um, you, you have something that you're passionate about, something that you're going after. It could be a job, something job related. You could be moving up in a, in a company. You could have started your own business and your business is flowing. Um, and I feel like this is causing this person to compete with you. Like this person is literally your competition. See, this is the energy that you're getting. You're getting the Six of Wands energy. These two energies together is letting me know that this person is competing against you. They're upset because you get more attention than them. Whatever it is that you do, you are seem to be successful at it. This person could be waiting on your downfall. Um, they, they feel like they could slow you down. If they could slow you down in some way, shape, or form. Um, this person really wants to slow you down. But for sure, for sure, they're definitely competing with you okay they're competing for your spot they feel like they're tired of hearing you hearing good news from you like they're tired of hearing you be positive they're tired of hearing you uh give something that's exciting or something that's going good in your life they're tired of hearing about it Tell me why the hermit is here. King of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles.
Look at this. Three of Cups and the Double here. This person is definitely the sour person out the patch. Okay? This could be you, another person. It could be a group of three. There is one toxic person in this in in this situation. This person could be a Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, this person could be younger than you with this Knight of Swords. Um, this person is just like they've been. They could have been being distant lately. The reason why is because they're studying you. Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. This person tries to be just like you. They try to be just like you. Okay. They try to uh. Like, if you carry yourself very well, they, they've been taking notes. Whatever the things that you say, they're taking notes. Things that you do, taking notes. Um, They're tired of hearing your good news. They're tired of hearing your good news. They're tired of it. Yeah, this person is trying to block you. They're trying to block your blessings. Okay, they're trying to block your blessings. They've been waiting for you to get upset, waiting for you to get out of character, waiting for things to go downhill for you. Um, They don't like how things is just, like, perfect for you. Like, it just seems like everything is perfect for you. It looks like this person actually admires the hell out of you. They actually want to work together with you, collab with you. They actually want to be like a team player with you. But they feel like they don't fit in. Like, um, they don't have what it takes. They feel like they know that you're going to have something to say if they mess up. But they really want to collab with you. They really want to work together as a team, but they are very intimidated by, by you. Maybe they don't feel as pretty as you are. With this two of swords and this empress, they don't feel as confident. They don't feel as like they'll get as much attention. I feel like this person has some insecurities that they hide. They feel like you could, you know, talk about them. They don't, they just don't want to take the risk. They really do want to collab with you. But the thing about it is, is this person is a silent hater. This person sits in your face all the time, hee hee ha in your face, and actually does not like you. They actually love you. They want to be just like you. This person is definitely, they're competing. They feel like you, you're doing too well. Like, you're doing, you're surpassing them. Okay, tell me more about this person. Let's use this kit for that. Tell me more about this person. Show me more of this person's energy. Oh, no, no, that jumped out. Mature man and thoughts. Expectations in family room. Okay, so this could be a family member. Okay. This could be a family member. There's a concern 
here. This person is concerned. See, this person focus is on what you over there doing in your house. Okay, we got gift in house. Okay, this person could be sending you evil thoughts, evil eye energy with bad health. They could be sending you all type of bad vibes. Okay, now this person, this is where their concern is. They're more concerned about what's going on in your house rather than being in what's concerned of what's going on in their house. I feel like this could be somebody that you are either close to or this could be a family member. We got expectation, courtship, and privileged lady. I feel like this person, um, there could be a man involved. They could be jealous of you because you have a man or there is something about this man. It's something about a man. It's about who can do it better, who has more money. So this person is competing with you. Yeah, okay, see, they dealing with a, a false person. A, this person, somebody dealing with a false man. This person be pretending like they got it. Or this person could be pretending a lot when they get around this man like they got it. So this is why they look at you in a certain way because you coming off as like a privileged lady or male, take it how it resonates. And something here about courtship. Oh, the coffin. Main male. So they could be having some things going on at home with them, with their male. With their man or their woman. They may not be getting any sex. Um, so they're just upset with you because you are everything that you do. Everything, how you move, what it is that you do, you just, it just seems like they're just like, you're a threat to this person. Yeah, somebody's trying, look at this, expectation, thief, and high honor, okay? See, this person may be trying to keep their distance from you. Um, they're trying to keep their distance from you for a reason. Now, this person expects, um, their expectation is, we got thief and high honor. This person feels like you're trying to come in and take somebody's spot or they're coming in trying to take your spot. Something to do here with a man, okay? A man could be involved. Someone could be thinking that someone is messaging somebody's man. Communicating with somebody's man. Yes, there is a lot going on. Yeah, this is somebody that they have a child with. This is somebody's baby daddy because we got main male and child. This is somebody's baby father could be involved this person don't see this person that they i feel like this is their person that they're dealing with this person is could be uh living in poverty while you're over here with somebody this mature man you may have a mature man over here that's giving you money um who is taking care of you um and they're over there with somebody who ain't got nothing going on that's what it looked like to me Somebody could have just gotten out of prison, could have just got out of jail, but this person has been stuck in this energy, this despair energy, this poverty mind energy mindset for a while. But they love this person. That's the thing. So that could be one of the issues of why this person is so much threatened by you because they can see how other people love you and just don't like it. They want that type of attention. They want it. All right, so that's the message that I got for you guys. If this message happens to resonate with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and friends and comment below, y'all. All right, I'm going to talk to y'all later.